in the interest of learning lessons, so that you know, the, the struggles that we went through, um, I, th I think maybe the, one way to describe it is, you know, there's there's a lot of paths that go about halfway through the woods, <laughs> just far enough where you can see the light in the clearing on the other end, but you're not real sure how to get over there. Um, I look at guys like John and Tom um, and, and Butler, the connectors in our community, are the ones that help us to figure out that there's no one path to get you to that other side, but there might be a couple paths that will be more efficient or less dangerous or you know, whatever you want to throw in there. When I talk to Tom about um, our need, you know, unfortunately I talked to some other folks. The first thing I heard back was, well, uh, the way we do things is you put a, a chunk of money into a uh, a research agreement, you got no guaranteed outcome, and we'll get back to you, right? And I don't know if you know what I'm actually need, you know, and, and I don't throw stones at anybody in, 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 in particular, but I'll say in general, the way we used to do things is a barrier, um, a barrier to progress, and in, in, in really what, what Tom and I came up with uh, in this particular situation broke a lot of, I guess broke a lot of molds. Um, and and, and some of that, some, again, why are you so fond of Tom? I think each of us have an obligation to empower the navigators and systems that can be very bureaucratic to have more and more examples and more and more support so they can become more and more empowered, right? So therefore they can be more and more effective about helping other folks to get through that same system. Because if it's just an N of one, you're like, oh yeah, but you know, we can't do that again because you know, there's all these things that went wrong. The challenge, one challenge that you're faced with as an entrepreneur coming into this is, Tom's phrase for it, is everybody thinks they've got Gatorade on the shelf, right? So the process for an intellectual property office is um, they've got all these inventions and they sit on the shelf and people come in, they kind of look them over and they'll grab one and they're going to be off to the races, they're going to make a billion dollars, right? Just like, I don't know what Gatorade made, but the theory was, it, you know, a lot, a lot of money. Um, and if you have the right IP officer, he or she will be able to look at it and say, I know this is going to be successful, so we're going to really negotiate really, really hard, and we're going to put the fingers to the fire, uh, and we're only going to give it to the right person. Yeah, and I, I won't ascribe this to Tom, but I personally have a mindset in, in our universities, if we've got, let's say, state universities, if there are, let's just say, 300 IP uh, items in each of the three tech transfer offices, I'd love to see somebody go in and say, look, boys, we're going to take 25% of the entire portfolio in each of these universities and we're going to set up a competition. And we're going to empower 50 startups over the next two years. And guess what? 45 of those startups will probably go under. But we're going to give them each you know, an SC launch startup grant. We're going to give them some support out of the MBA school. And we're going to go forward with the concept that if you take this technology, you've got to give us a technology report. We're going to engage you with the primary researcher or somebody that's like that and help you move the ball. And if you go under, guess what? We get the IP back and we get all the improvements back. Wouldn't that be better? For those, whatever, I'll say it's 100 technologies, wouldn't that be better than if they sat on the shelf, or let's say 80, let's just optimistically, 80 of them sat on the shelf for the next five years? What we would, talk about a differentiator. You did something like that, we'd have time down here writing articles about us, right? And it's because everybody's afraid of the Gatorade story, right? And I don't know all the facts about it, but that just keeps coming back up. Now, I've got a lot of friends in the tech transfer offices at Georgia Tech and Clemson and MUOC and now these people have endorsed this idea by any stretch, but <laughs> in this particular situation, one of the challenges that we had was we were proposing something that was different than what the IP office was normally expected to see, 